Hello Europe, I'm Julie Cullen and I'm here to tell you about the success story that was Europe Code Week here in Ireland. All around the country we had an unprecedented response to Europe's call for coders. We were delighted with the level of interest from Europe's most westerly country. On Taoiseach, Enda Kenny launched Europe Code Week in Ireland and raised awareness of the 900,000 vacancies in the IT sector across Europe by 2015. This is my school, St Oliver's Community College in Drogheda. Every computer and technology class that took place during the week was a coding event. We also hosted an amalgamation of my county's coder dojos with almost 200 attendees. Oh, what do I like about it? You get to learn new stuff about it. That's what I like. I like the movement, yeah. the different ways they move. Minister Kieran Cannon travelled the country, reiterating his belief in the importance of coding as a national asset. It's an extraordinary initiative, pulled together with limited, very limited resources. Uh, the only resource we had available to us was the passion of the people involved in it. Uh, and we really leveraged that up to produce a pretty extraordinary result, not alone here in Ireland, but indeed across the whole of the EU. It's the skill of coding that reaches beyond what you and I would normally understand in terms of technical ability. There's, there's literacy, um, there's numeracy, there's analytical thinking, there's computational thinking, there's sequ sequential thinking, there's logical thinking. They're all skills that extend far beyond the realm of ICT. You have to click the aliens, and when you click the aliens, you get at least one point. And, I th and the um, score that you have to get is 20 or more. My best score is about 33. The challenge really is, is how we begin to teach code as a distinct and unique subject within our schools. It's fun, it's also very mathematical, but they don't see that side of it at all. But they're learning an awful lot about technology, and they're learning maths, and they're learning how to code, and that everything has to be really logical. In Galway, it was demonstrated that coding is not just for kids. These retired teachers turned to all things digital under the guidance of Brendan Smith. In Dublin, Citywise Education Centre in Tala was home to several coding events. My name is Alex and I will be looking at coding for the Europe Code Week. Let's go take a look. This innovative centre featured in an RTE report that promoted Europe Code Week, making Alex the fresh face of coding in Europe. It's also fun to do, just like like the past the time is really good like if you're ever at home and you have nothing to do it's always great to just put on the laptop and try and finish something that you haven't finished yet or start something from scratch we've just been blown away by the response i mean it's been absolutely fantastic from both schools and organizations such as quarter dojos but i think above all it's been the kids we have learned so much from these kids in the last week we now realize that as educationists We've got to look at the way we provide education and the methods we use and the technology we use because these kids have just really engaged with everything that we've thrown at them during EU Code Week. We are absolutely looking forward to EU Code Week 2014 already. It's exciting, it's innovative and it's what everything Europe should be about. There's been a, a lot of little fires lit around Ireland in terms of what can be done in the area of code and the area of programming and I think they'll burn brightly for many years to come. Over 300 events, thousands of participants and volunteers from the areas of industry and education, but most importantly, fun and participation for all. The success has far exceeded all our expectations. Roll on Europe Code Week 2014.